people of the purple butterfly here, otherwise known as people of seven on Twitter and YouTube, people of elsewhere on the internet. And my blog is located at purplebutterfly-people.blogspot.com. And this video is twofold. One, it answers a question I received in my inbox, and two, it's going to tell you about a funny thing that happened at work today. First inbox question, which was, why do you never do outfit of the day videos or OOTDs? <laughs> I don't have any clothes. <laughs> I haven't went shopping in about 15 to 20 years. Uh, I bought some clothes right before I came back to Cincinnati from El Paso. That was in 1991. The next time I went shopping was for pants that fit. Um, recently, like a year and a half ago, when I lost 58 pounds and everything I owned was being held on by a really tight-fitting belt that felt like it was cutting me at the waist. But I have like a hundred t-shirts and sweatshirts and tank tops and all that stuff if you add them all together. Haven't really had to buy more of those. It's like this one, it was a gift. A lot of my t-shirts are gifts. A lot of them are people going, um, this is like your style and I outgrew it. Do you want it? Or I bought something too big. Do you want it? Sure, why not? Other than that, you will see me in either a sweatshirt, which is best for driving buses, depending on the weather, or a t-shirt, or a tank top, um, a cap sleeve shirt that is like the only kind I can wear to work, because we can't have sleeveless or, you know, you can't have this part of you exposed. It has to stop at least right here. But the moment I'm off duty, especially in summertime, I'm going to be wearing a strappy spaghetti um, camisole or whatever because I have them in the side outside. With that is 90% of the time a pair of blue jeans or a pair of workout pants because when I did buy clothes, I bought mostly workout clothes because I had went from a size 18 down to, and literally I had to go to Walmart and have them size me. I think there's a video about that, and found out that I was wearing a size 12. Well, I bought clothes that were 10, 12, so it spanned two sizes, and I bought um, 12, 14s. I have two pairs of size 16 jeans that did not get tossed out when I tossed out all my fat clothes because they were hiding, and I have one pair of size 18s that I hope I will never fit into ever again. With that, I always have on cowboy boots gym boots, spring boots, winter boots, fall boots, summer boots. I don't wear shoes. I always wear boots. I have one pair of shoes. There they are, a pair of flip-flops. And it has to be really, really hot for me to wear those. So, outfit of the day is some combination thereof of those items and, you know, church clothes. I do have skirts and dresses, but I've had those for years. As long as they still fit and as long as the material holds up and as long as they wash and dry, I'm good with it, you know. Um, when there's knitted items, I'm always knitting something. Um, as I knit things, I will put it on YouTube. But I don't go shopping for that. There's no haul. There's no, honey, look what I got at the mall, because I cannot stand the mall. I just, oh, man. Malls and me, we are not a good simpatico match. That's too much walking. It makes my knee and my ankle hurt. The only way it doesn't hurt is if I put on my knee my ankle brace. That in itself is something I avoid doing. When I go to work and I need the support, I'll wear my ankle brace, I'll wear my knee brace. It's like my hearing aids. When I'm at work, I'll wear them. But at home, I'm going to be me. And if me is having a gimpy knee and a leg that wants to act like, yeah, you're on your own sister sometimes, that's fine with me. It's the way God made me. And then... You know, course of time, getting older, age, so forth, so on, and, you know, but I'm going to be comfortable no matter what I wear. Okay, so that's why I don't do looks of the day. I do hair of the day because, you know, I'm always doing something with my hair. And hair of the day brings me to what happened at work today. In between my rounds, I get approximately 16 minutes. Um, I park my bus. 
if there's time, depending on if, you know, parents properly came to pick up their children from the stops in a timely manner from my first route, then I had 60 minutes to get across the street and up uh, about a 175-foot walk to this little gas station across the street and then back and then food in my mouth and good to go. I usually get, you know, a Starbucks coffee in a can, the 16-ounce with the energy, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if it gives me energy or not, but the regular double shot is two ninety nine. The can's this big, six ounces. And this thing is like this wide and, you know, it's a 15-ounce can. Tastes exactly the same. Costs 20 cents less than the little teeny shot can. So, hello, if I spend the same amount of money, I'm going to get as much as I can. Anyway, I get that in a Danish, and I turn around, and someone went, K? And I turn around and went, who on God's green earth is that? No clue. Well, it turned out to be the parent of a child that I used to drive way back when he was in, like, kindergarten or first grade, and now he's right here to me. And she goes, you chopped off all your hair. But then again, on a day like today, it makes sense to wear your hair short. <laughs> it's been raining and threatening tornadoes and stuff all day. And I said, no, it shrinks. She goes, what you mean shrinks? I went, it shrinks. Little did I know, she took that as an invitation to grab my hair and pull it away. Dang, yeah, it's long now. Right in front of her child. See, I would use a different choice of words, <laughs> but <laughs> that cracked me up. She goes, how did you get it to do that? I said, it's curly. I just add water. She goes, oh, I get it. says it spirals. The length is hidden. I went, uh-huh. She goes, well, you stay blessed. Have a good day. Uh, you still drive for Peter? And I said, no, now I'm first student. That's for the city, right? I said, no, that's for first student. They might have a vendor or a contract with the city, but my boss is first student. Oh, well, every time I see a yellow bus, I'm going to wait that because it might be you. Okay, stay blessed. Have a great day. So she left the store, I'm thinking, and I still don't know who that is. I recognize the little baby who was a little baby, and now he's right here. But I can't honestly recall seeing her but maybe once or twice. I think the cousin or the babysitter or somebody used to come get him off the bus when he was on my route. Anyway, that just cracked me up. It's like our hair is so diverse that even people that know you don't know your hair, even though they've seen it curly. Well, actually, come think of it, she might have seen it wavy or when I kept it twisted up or whatever because a lot of times... You know, except for like rainy days, I do not wear my hair out and about and let it be free and, you know, shake and curl and all that. When I'm at work, I usually wear my hair up, especially, I mean, say I got the bangs out. Usually it's, you know, back like this. In fact, there's my hair clip that I took off the moment I left the lot and just stuck it literally on my necklace. But... On the weekends, and it is a Friday, I let my hair do whatever it wants until it's done doing whatever it wants or when it's time to go back to work, then I put it right back up. But it rained today, and there's nothing worse than having a French braid here, which acts like a funnel, so all the water that hits your head goes straight down your face. So I just let it be free, so that way if water gets there, especially when it's cold rain, no more water. <laughs> Anyway, this has been People of Seven on Twitter and YouTube, People of Elsewhere on the Internet. Check out my blog at purplebutterfly-people.blogspot.com. Bye now.